Hello, my queens, and welcome to this video. Oh my god, thank you have some glitter for hybrids on your desk. What does this even mean? Oh my god, you're so crazy, girl. I know I am crazy, but it is the fall season, so it's time to harvest our glitter for us so that we can propagate them. Oh my god, don't you want to just behead them? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. That's the best way, girl. You know it. I just I know it, but because. They are becoming more dormant. It's gonna be harder for them to like root, and I don't want to lose some of these because some of these are expensive also. So today in this video, we are going to be harvesting our bloom stalks from our glibophore hybrids so that we can propagate. So I'm gonna show you, and it actually does work because I do have an example on the side right here. Um, as you know, glibophore hybrids are really incapable of leaf propagation. No matter what you try or do, you take these leaves, you put them on the floor, whatever, you'll just get roots. Some of you will be like, oh my god, but I had a few. Yes, it's because you're super lucky or the species that you have is capable of doing it. But the high majority of glibophore hybrids are incapable of doing that. Not only that, they're also sterile as well, which means they can't reproduce any other way except for beheading, tissue culturing, or using the bloom stalks to do it. Okay, so, oh my god, what does sterile mean? So I'm gonna show you. Um, you know what an Echeveria bloom looks like, right? So this is an Echeveria New Heights raindrop. As you can see right here, this is, a, it's throwing off a little bloom stock. Not only that, it's throwing off flowers as well. The flowers already form. Usually when an Echeveria throws off a bloom stock, it would already form the flower part. And it goes up and then it'll form the leaf and it'll just keep going up and up and up. You'll, you've seen that many times, right? But with a with certain glibophore hybrids, it, that just never happens. It'll throw off the bloom stalk. You can see right here. One, two, three, and there's a fourth one right there. It'll throw off these bloom stalks, but the, the flower part has never been formed and it'll, it'll always be like that forever. And it'll just keep going and going and going. Uh, but we can use that to our advantage the bloom stalks to propagate our beautiful glibophore hybrids, right? Uh, this is an example right here that does work. So this was from here when I got it. Uh, and then I've just pretty much beheaded across and a bloom, a little glibophoria, dream rose has formed. You can tell the difference between a baby and just the, just the flower bloom stalk, right? This is the real plant. This is just a bloom stalk that will never create a flower. Neat and interesting, right? So, um, what we're gonna do, like I said, we're just gonna harvest them, and when you finish harvesting these beautiful bloom stalk, wait a week, then put it into soil, please. If it hasn't harvest, if it has, hasn't callus over, it's still mushy, guess what? It's pretty much rotted. It's pretty much rotted. Try again. I can't help you there. Okay, um, you need a pair of shears. Oh my god, bang! That's a sharp! Just use your common sense and don't cut yourself, please, and thank you. Um, and you're probably not gonna ask me, thing, where do I cut them? You cut them wherever you feel like it. Okay, this is called a KS Red Trump. Absolutely gorgeous. See that beautiful flower? Oh my god, that's so beautiful. Um, you cut it. You can cut you cut it close to where the plants where the stalk, the stem is so all the way down there you see down there I can't I can't really show you all, right. all the way down there see uh, where's my hand my hand yeah cut it all the way down there okay that's where I usually do it that's it all right make sure that once you do cut this. Do not put this plant back outside if it's raining or if there's too much humidity or moisture uh, because it could just enter that and just destroys your plant. So don't do that, okay? This is so beautiful. Look how big this nice this is. And when you, when you do take this, make sure that you get rid of the long stem because some of them will have like gigantic stems because we don't want this whole entire thing in our pot, right? We saw it a little bit of it. So just cut like that. That's it, right? Plug that in. We're gonna plug this in, and usually once I plug this in after you know a week of callusing it over, 
usually I leave this for let's say two weeks and, and once that two week is done I try to pull it if it's stable if there's roots if there's roots if you know that there is any type of root the next part is just to behead the top and then you'll get beautiful offsprings like I've done in the the uh, the dream rose so I'm gonna leave this aside I know so beautiful thing that's actually measured up to like 30 centimeters wide yeah so let me let me rephrase that once you have your bloom stock and once it has calloused over I would leave it for a week to callous over put it into soil okay and leave it for one or two week do not touch it after that two week is done it should have already formed a rooting system or any type of root at all once the root is done once the root has formed you do is just again beheaded across right and then you just wait until a new baby is formed right that's what I do and it has worked so you can also also like take a few leaf off the top as well but make sure you always leave a few leaf on the bottom you don't want to strip the whole you know you don't want to strip the whole stem of everything leave a leaf or two um, yeah leave a leaf or two okay I mean it's it's beautiful like just to like look at them but unfortunately I don't get the space and plus I want to like reproduce them so that way I don't lose them you know some of them are like a few hundred dollars actually no I'm just kidding ah some of them are like 30 40 50 100 dollars it's crazy i mean this japanese purple is absolutely gorgeous you can see this and this only needs like the uh the sun absolute gorgeous so i'm gonna like snip this away oh my god that's strong girl girl the stem is strong this is a very strong stem I actually probably want to reproduce this a lot because I really love the Japanese purple. It is absolutely magnificently gorgeous. Uh, more than a lot of people appreciate them because some people just don't appreciate the Biforias. Um, but some of them are just absolutely... See, see how long this is? We don't want this huge long stem, right? We want something short like this. That's it. Okay. Okay. Oh god, I love Cardi B. God, that woman is just insane. Love her, but she's just insane. So, we're gonna cut this as well. Some of the stems are really, um, really, really hard like this one. This is probably gonna take some force right here. Sorry. Yeah, it's gonna take some force. Ah, there we go. See? Absolutely gorgeous. The pearl hasn't given me any bubbles yet. Um, and then when you see there's another one over here, you can also chop it off as well. You don't have to wait. Um, you don't actually don't have to wait at all. But so it's, it's also benefit for like the, um, actually I might have to wait a little bit. Or I can use my exacto knife. Yeah, I can use my exacto knife. There we go. It's also benefit to the main plant, the mother plant itself. Um, because then it doesn't have to put the energy into the bloom stalks. Um, so that way it can keep growing and growing and growing and growing. And this is also a good time to check like um, the bottom leaves as well if they're, you know, drying out. They're ready to like pull out. And usually when they are ready to pull out, it's just really easy. If they're not, do not pull them out yet. Right. So this is going to take some skills. Not really. I mean, I have, oh, see, every single time I touch, it breaks. It breaks. Every time I touch, because every time we touch, da 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 da. Ugh, this is, this is gonna be surgical. I gotta surgically remove it. Mm hmm. Yeah. Just be careful, you know. Just be careful, you know, some some of you are probably prone to accidents, you know. There you go. That's it, same. So we, we could probably like multiply propagate this a lot. Once this is done, cut, 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 cut. 
You know, once it roots, just cut, 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 cut. And then we can have multiple of like propagation going on. So if, you know, if you had like, if I had like a farm or a greenhouse, I could probably just do, just do all this massively. Um, most likely I could just do this massively. Uh, but because I don't, it's kind of hard for me to do it. I love Glyphophorias, like I do. They're spectacular. And you could just leave the uh, the other stem in there if you wanted to. I mean, I could just leave one and see how it goes. Most likely, I probably will. I'm just gonna leave that one and see how that goes. That I can just leave, and then we're gonna also harvest the the baby down here if we can. It's really hard to harvest down there because it's like squished. It's pretty much squished. Um, and you're probably like screaming, "Dang, you're bringing out the leaves!" Yeah, okay, I don't care. Yeah, so there is a little baby down here that I need to rescue from Mama because it's squished. It's literally squished. Um, so this is gonna be hard. Ex exact when I've extend to the max. Okay, extend to the max. Oh, oh God, I'm not doing this live. Where is the insertion? Um, does it not need to be exactly or super, I see it, I see it, okay. There we go. I think I did it. Okay, there you go. So, extraction is completed. Now I have a nice baby dream rose. Yeah, so this is what the real plant looked like. Looks like, looks like the real baby of the plant looks like. Okay, and then I just get rid of that. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I'll just let this be. Yeah, there you go. Extraction completed. We'll just leave this alone. It's a good time to extract them, anyways. Okay, this Bakras also has a little baby. Oh, this Bakras is beautiful. Can you see the carbuncles? See the carbuncles? Absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous carbuncle. But then, yeah, well, you can do whatever you feel like it. I love it. This carbuncle. There you go. Bakra's baby has been removed. Yes, sir. The Bakra's baby. So we're gonna put this. We're all, we're, we're, I'm gonna put them aside and let them heal. Um, like I said, for about a week. The bigger stock, just do it for two weeks. Okay, I have more to do. Um, because it's gigantic. Look at this. This is a, a Gorgon Scrotto, a Manoa Loa. You can tell the difference between the two, even though they almost look very similar. Uh, the Gorgon's Grotto is throwing me off some babies on the bottom, but they're very, very tiny at the moment. So I'm going to leave them to grow just a little bit more before I remove them. Um, and yeah, so this, this huge stock right here, it's gigantic, right? Uh, unfortunately, I've damaged the top um, because of the wireframe. So this is damaged, but that's okay. It's already been calloused over anyway. So we're going to... Extract it. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's that's really that's really Oh my god. Okay, well wow. This is this is really strong. This this stem game is really oh my god. Yeah, I need I need one of those clippers. I was looking for them, but I just couldn't find it. I mean you don't really have to cut like you can just like rip it off if you feel like it. If you feel it, just, just rip it off. But I'm just gonna snag it. Where's my tool? Right here. There we go. There we go. Wow, this stem game is really, really strong, eh? Okay. Also, don't want this huge stem. Cut about right here. Put it aside. Okay. Um, 
you are done for now. Like I said, good time to like look at the bottom leaves, see if it needs to be pulled out. Very easy. The other reason why I like Gibba for our hybrids is that it's it's less prone to mealybug infestation because there's like little space for them to hide in between, right? Mealybugs loves to hide in between like everything, um, just so the sun doesn't shine up its butt. This is a Manoa Loa, Manoa Loa. Yeah, it's supposed to give me like, um, you know, um, bumps too, but unfortunately I don't have enough light or heat for it to actually give me enough bumps. Okay. There we go. And two. I'm pretty sure. There we go. Yeah. It's also giving me babies on the bottom as well, but the babies are a little bit too small at the moment. And I think it's time. Um, what else is there? Oh, I think that's it. Oh, there's one more. There's, there's actually two more. There's two more for me to do. So. Suiyon, also a type of Gibbo Forex. I think this is able to, I don't know, not sure, but yeah. Any babies on the bottom? Nope. And then there's this Andromeda right here that I also need to, there's a baby going on right now. You see that? That's a huge, gigantic baby. Um, a lot of the time, it's best for you to separate the baby as soon as possible, because at this stage, it's really hard, especially like when it's like there's no space in between, right? There's no space in between them, um, so it's gonna be a hard incision to do. Just have to use your exacto knife. Let's go inside. But you're hurting. I don't care. I actually don't care if I'm hurting it. See? Clean cut. Um, yeah. That's it. Yeah. Be brave. Don't be scared. You know, they're just plants. Some of them are like $5, $10. Uh, there's another one on this side as well. So because I like the plant how it is at the moment, and I like how um, it looks, and I already have another offset anyways, so what we're going to do is we're going to take away the other offsets on the other side right here because um, we have another one you can see there we have two more actually um, this leaf is gone so i've already damaged it it's already gone just push that aside thank you yeah you can honestly as long as it's like this big or whatever this big i think or even like this big right you can just separate it from the bloom stock or the stock or whatever you were propagating from. You don't have to wait for it to grow bigger. A lot of the time it's easier just to separate them and then force them to actually grow roots of their own. So that way they're actually, uh, the roots are probably providing the nutrients to that plant versus like the roots providing the nutrients to a leaf and the plant at the same time, right? Because you want the plant to grow, not the leaf, right? Or the, or the, or the, uh, the stock, so. This one, I can just push aside. Yep. Push aside. Right. There we go. And this one, you just push aside as well. Oh. There we go. Yeah, see? Some of them, you just push aside. That's it. Mm. Yeah, this too. I don't really care for this baby down here. Like I said, like I've already mentioned, I already have like... A little an offset anyways so I don't care if I damage it or kill it right I'm a baby so usually you're supposed to wait for until it grows a little bit larger and I think there's another offset right here too <laughs> um, usually you're supposed to wait for until it just becomes a little bit larger and then you can like remove it but I don't really want more offset of this thing anyways I already have a nice one. I have another nice one. So that's fine. So harvesting is complete. Um, a lot of these will have to wait for a, about a week's time uh, before we do anything about them. Right? Remove There's too much stem, too much stem, right? Uh, so you can do that now. Oh, this Japanese purple is so beautiful. 
yeah, you remove that now and then yeah, plug it in in about a week's time onto into soil and wait for it to grow roots. Once it grows roots, beheaded, beheaded, let it callus over and repeat. And you just wait for the other stuff and it will just grow into like this. Right. That's how I do things. And I see, I see, I see, some um, mealybug infestation right here. Bye bye. That's it. Anyways, yeah. So that's how you do bloom stalk propagation. Don't use the leaf on the bloom stalks. They don't actually work. It might take a while. I think this took about like two months for us to come out like this. Um, because I was waiting for this whole entire thing. To grow roots and then do that and um, what else you can do is you can actually pluck off a leaf or two in the top and it'll just start sprouting out too that would work anyways that's it thank you guys so much for watching this video hopefully you will enjoy more propagating for your glibophora hybrids because they are absolutely gorgeous i wish like a lot more people were into them uh, especially in canada but you know what the crazy thing is canadians apparently like tiny small cute things that's true. Anyways, queens, I'll see y'all later. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully you guys enjoy it and learn something for it. Don't forget to press like and subscribe if you haven't done it already. No, seriously, don't press like and subscribe. Come to the stream sometimes because I think we're going to be streaming a lot more in the winter time. And whoever said that my videos are long, you can go fuck off. I don't care. Anyways, love you guys. Bye.